My name is Matthew Alexander, I'm a developer at HCL, and in this video, I'll walk you through the steps needed to run Urban Code Deploy Server as a container inside OpenShift. The Urban Code Deploy Server may now be run inside Kubernetes, starting with version 6.2.7.1 iFix2. This is available as of March 2018. Before we get started, I want to point out two limitations of our initial release. First of all, we do not support high availability in this release. You may run a single server instance of Urban Code Deploy only. Also, upgrading a container from one version of Urban Code Deploy to another is not supported at this time. There are some prerequisites you need to take note of before running Urban Code Deploy server in Kubernetes. First, Urban Code Deploy requires a database. Various vendors are supported, and the database may pretty much exist anywhere. For example, the database may exist in the same Kubernetes cluster as Urban Code Deploy. You could use an on-prem database, or the database could exist somewhere in the cloud. As long as your Kubernetes cluster can reach your database, you should be fine. You will also need two persistent volumes in your Kubernetes cluster. If you're familiar with installing on-prem Urban Code Deploy, you'll remember you need to provide a JDBC driver to allow Urban Code Deploy to connect with your database. To give your container access to that driver, the driver should be placed on a persistent volume. You'll see us refer to this persistent volume as extlib, since the driver will eventually end up in a directory in the container named ext underscore lib. The other persistent volume will contain the Urban Code Deploy app data directory. This directory contains various configuration information for your Urban Code Deploy server. For example, if you install a plugin into Urban Code Deploy, it will be stored in the app data directory. We need to persist this folder so that if our container dies or is restarted, our app data directory will live on and our server will not lose any changes we have made. Some Kubernetes clusters support dynamic volume provisioning. This allows persistent volumes to be created automatically when your Helm chart is installed. If your cluster supports dynamic volume provisioning, you will not need to manually create the two persistent volumes we just talked about. However, the extlib persistent volume still needs to contain your JDBC driver at install time. In order to copy your JDBC driver to the extlib persistent volume at install time, we will use a config map. I will not be using dynamic volume provisioning in this video, However, I do use it in a video I made where Urban Code Deploy runs in IBM Cloud Private, so you may check out that video if interested. Let's get Urban Code Deploy running on OpenShift. I've already set up a DB2 database on a database server outside of OpenShift. I've also created two directories on an NFS server I will use for my persistent volumes. In the folder that will map to my extlib persistent volume, I've added the JDBC driver used to connect to my DB2 database. My next step is to create persistent volumes in OpenShift. I have two YAML files representing my two persistent volumes. Let's take a look at the extlib persistent volume. We see I'm using NFS and the volume will be mapped to my home slash OSE directory. It is in this directory I've added the JDBC driver. Let's go ahead and create the persistent volumes. The persistent volumes are created. Next, we need to create persistent volume claims. I'll do that using the OpenShift UI. We see the persistent volume claims have been created and they're bound to our persistent volumes. At this time, the only way to acquire the Urban Code Deploy image in Helm chart is through IBM's Passport Advantage. Extract the archive you downloaded from Passport Advantage. You'll notice a charts directory, which contains the Helm chart, an images directory, which contains the image, and a few manifest files. The manifest files are used if loading the chart and image into IBM Cloud Private. Since we are using OpenShift, let's go to the image directory. 
load the image to Docker with a docker image load command. You may now tag and push the image to the Docker registry of your choice. Now let's go to the charts directory and extract the chart. We need to update the chart's values.yaml file before we install the chart. Let's take a look at my values.yaml file. I've updated the image section to point to my image repository. In this case, the image is stored in Artifactory. A repository requires authentication, so I created a secret. At this time, the only service supported is NodePort, so leave that value as is. In the database section, I've entered information needed to connect to my database. Let's scroll down. Let's leave the initial password of our admin user as admin. In the Persistence section, I have Persistence Enabled set to True and Dynamic Provisioning set to False. In the EXT Lib Volume section, since I've already created a persistent volume claim, I entered its name here. I've done the same for the App Data Volume. I'll leave Resource Constraints disabled. If you have questions about any of these values, check out the Charts README file. Now we can go ahead and install our chart. Let's go into the OpenShift console and verify that our pod is up and running. We see that our UCD pod is up and it's currently in a ready and running state. It may take a few minutes to get to that state, so if you want to check the progress, you can click on the pod and go to events. You may see some messages that say the readiness probe failed. You may see that as your UCD install initializes, once the probe passes, your pod should go into the ready state. Next, we need to get the URL to access Urban Code Deploy. When you installed your Helm chart, you'll see these notes that show how to get the URL of your application. Down here, it's kind of hard to read, but you can see that I ran those commands, and the URL for Urban Code Deploy is displayed. You can also get the URL through the OpenShift web console. If you go to Applications, Services, and then click on your UCD service, you can see that port 8443 is being mapped in my case to 31626. If you know the IP address of one of your worker nodes, you can use that port and you should be able to access the Urban Code Deploy web UI. Let's try it. Urban Code Deploy is displayed. and we can log in with our admin credentials. I hope this video helps you get started using Urban Code Deploy on OpenShift. Thank you for watching.